Welcome back to another episode of Learn Robotics with Liz. Today, this episode is going to be talking about programs versus courses and the different types of training you can do to advance your robotics and automation career. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leak some private training that I use with my clients so that you can understand exactly kind of the thought process behind what, what my clients go through when they're in my program. And it also will give you a different perspective on how to learn. So even if you didn't do well in school, this is going to give you another option, right? And so I, I say this from a place of high academic excellence, and I've been doing a lot of reflection on why I was such a good student. And I'm talking like, over a 4.0 GPA, like over 100 on exams, just always at the top of the class. And it wasn't really because I was smart or any different than you. The only difference is that I had a program and I was using a program outside of the classes to sharpen my skills. And that's why people come to me to work with me and train with me because I'm giving them activities that will enhance the way they think about things. So there are lots of different learning styles and in traditional education, we're really only presented with a few different options. One of them being the traditional lecture style where you show up to a class, you listen to somebody talk, and then you're just supposed to absorb and retain the information. You're supposed to take notes. You're supposed to even know what to take notes on. And then you're supposed to be able to take those notes from listening to something once and then be able to do a set of problems or homework or assessments. And odds are it's not super interactive. It's not super entertaining. It's not super memorable. And honestly, it's not even relevant. A lot of the information that you go and you get from these lectures and from these courses are a collection of what other people think you need in that moment when in reality, you may not actually need that information to make progress on what you're trying to accomplish. And some of the best work that I have done is work outside of those lectures. And I can remember, and I'm, I'm thinking back to when I was taking an advanced math class, I was in differential equations as a senior in high school, and I was taking this at a college. And it wasn't necessarily the lecture that made me do so well in that class. It was the hours of problems and sitting and analyzing the process on how to solve the problem. So that when I was presented with a certain type of differential equations problem or a problem set, an application, I had a process that I could lean on that I could go step by step through and just repeat a process that works. And I think that's why I love automation so much, because if you can figure out the answer to a problem and you have a set of steps and a step of set of processes that you can lean on, once you have figured that out, you can just keep repeating that forever and ever and ever and keep reusing it. And you're always going to be right. And it's so funny to me because I didn't realize this until I started drafting up this podcast. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I created myself a program and programs are different than courses. And I, I'm going to explain more about this in the training that I did with my clients, but I want to give you kind of co some context because this is what I guide my professionals and my clients and my program to do is we're doing on the job style training. It's more intellectual. It's more relevant to the problems you need to solve right now. And you're not going to a meeting for the sake of going to a meeting. You are actually getting the information you need to solve something that you're not sure of. And that is the biggest difference. It isn't just me blathering about a topic that I feel like talking about. It isn't academic in that sense. It's very relevant. It's very tied to the real world and it's congruent. And so it's it's so cool that I've been able to figure this out in the last couple of days and kind of really find a way to communicate this with my group because it's, it's going to be so valuable to you and the next steps in your career. And this model that I, in this training that I, that I did, it flips the traditional education method on its head entirely. So regardless of what kind of student you were in the past, you're going to be able to take this episode and you're going to be able to apply it and make progress in your career. So I hope you enjoyed this leaked training. I don't usually do this. So if you do like it, um, let me know. Make sure you rate the podcast so that I do know that you like this. And if you want my help reinventing yourself, 
with a six-figure-plus career in robotics, you can apply to join my mentorship program on learnrobotics.org slash podcast. Now on to today's special training. You see, there's a difference between regular courses, which is what we see in you know traditional education, and there is a time and a place for degrees and certifications and courses. And you see the difference, though, is regular courses, they lead to what we call a certificate or a piece of paper, some sort of a credential. And maybe if you're lucky and you can figure out how to take that certificate and show that you actually know what you're doing, maybe you'll get hired, maybe you'll get a promotion, maybe. There's a lot of maybes in this. Whereas the program that I run, the Robotics Mentorship Program, this program skips all this random maybe-ness, and you get your dream career in robotics. And we do this very specifically, and it works very well. And I'm going to tell you why it works well right now. Instead of mindlessly taking courses, like we just talked about, to get certificates, we are focusing on your career, more specifically your dream career in robotics. You see, education follows this typical career pyramid, and traditional education is backwards, which is why most professionals plateau after three to ten years in their career. Most likely you're here because you went to university, you have a bachelor's degree, maybe you have a master's degree, maybe you have a PhD in some science or technical field, maybe you have an engineering degree. Then, once you go to university, you get that piece of paper, and it says, yep, you, know, you went to university, you have a degree now, and then you try to get a job, right? And you, you try to take whatever entry level is available, whatever thing may come your way. You say, you know what, I just need to, I just need to get a job because I need to pay my dues. I need to stay here for, he, for three to five years, for 10 years, and just get some experience because once I have experience then maybe I'll be able to move up to this tiny little fraction of a percentage of the population that is actually living the dream. And the dream is only achievable by paying your dues or spending years of your life doing something that makes you miserable because maybe one day in the future you'll have a chance for a promotion or a chance to have something on your resume that shows that you're worthy of having the dream. And this is totally backwards. I see a lot of people, they come into my program And this is their thought process. Maybe this process resonates with you and maybe you're sitting here looking at this like, man, I am stuck in this dues area. I do not know how to get to the next level. I am tired of this job that doesn't pay me for my expertise. And I would love to have a robotics role where I get to do X, Y, and Z every day. And if you're resonating with this, I'm going to show you exactly how we help our students flip this on its head, quite literally. We do something called the reverse pyramid. So instead of working our way from the bottom to the top, we put the actual top. We put that fundamental level at the top. So we start with the dream. So my robotics mentorship program focuses on the dream. We have to focus on the dream first, right? Because it's the fundamentals of what we need to know in order to even achieve it, right? Because if you don't know what your dream is, if you don't know what the next level looks like for you, in your career in robotics and automation or doing something high tech, then how the heck are you going to get it? So all of my, all of my students and clients, we start here. We start at the dream. We define very clearly what you want and everything we do is based around what you want in your competency gaps. So then we work down the pyramid this way. And instead of focusing on how many years we have to spend paying our dues, We're only focusing on one to three gaps in your technical competencies that you need to fill. And if you can unlock how to think about those technical competencies in a short amount of time, leveraging your background, then you are good to go. Because this degree that you have, this experience that you have in your current role with, you know, three to 10 to 20 years of of professional experience, that matters. That matters. And so we position that correctly. We're taking all of this information and we're combining it. And we are making sure that you are maximizing your time. Because 
at this point in your career, you should not be taking courses just to take courses. If you are just mindlessly searching the internet for something to take just to slap it on your resume or to have another certification because you think somebody's going to care about it, some hiring manager is going to say, great, you took ABC certification, you're hired. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to be able to apply what you're doing to the role because six-figure plus earners do not just have a bunch of certifications on their resumes. They actually know how to think. They actually know how to apply things. They aren't just looking for a laundry list of crap to do just for the sake of doing crap. And this wastes a lot of time and money on things that probably won't move the needle anyways. So if you could have the choice between doing the right things and doing it quick and getting the good result versus doing a laundry list of crap that doesn't do anything, which one would you pick? The former, right? So in my program, what we use what I call action plans. And action plans are better than having a course syllabus. You see, a course syllabus is designed by the expert. The expert decides you need to know one, two, three, four. You need to know all these random things. And they're just assuming you need to know those things or that you haven't seen these things before. But imagine taking a class where you go in and you find out the syllabus has everything on here you've already been doing for the last 10 years. How is that going to help you? How is that going to move the needle? It's not. It's not going to move the needle because it's been predetermined. It's been predetermined by somebody else. It's not based around you. And that's why we use action plans because action plans are developed around you. That way you're filling the right areas with expertise to be the most valuable option for companies when they're hiring for your dream robotics role. And action plans are developed in real time. They're developed between you and me in our onboarding call. We figure out your background, your goals, your dreams, what you want for your new life and your career, because your life and your career, they need to be congruent. If you want to live a lavish lifestyle and you're only making $50,000 a year, you're not going to have a lavish lifestyle. Not, at least not now with inflation and uh, real estate markets going up and the stock market being volatile. If you want to live a great life and have awesome finances, you want to be able to retire at a reasonable age, you want work-life balance so you can spend time with your family, with your kids, with your spouse, you want to be able to do what you want to do, like both at work, you love showing up to work, you love taking weekends and going on vacation, you are at the company you want to be working at, you're in a location that you're happy with, we have to make sure all of this is congruent. You're not going to get that on a syllabus by taking a course. And a lot of things that happen is people don't consider this when they're looking at the next step in their career. Your career feeds into your life. And if you don't know what you want for your life, then how do you figure out what kind of career you want? And that's why we create an action plan. We map out the shortcut way to get to your goals and which areas you need to build your tech technical competencies. Now, I'm not saying you can't learn these things these different things. And in fact, you're going to need to learn these different things. Depending on the role that you want, you actually do need to know your stuff from a technical standpoint. But the technical stuff is probably not your problem. If you're coming to me and you have a technical background and you actually know what you're doing, this technical stuff, diving into the tech and diving into the software and diving into the controllers and learning how to do 3D modeling and learning how to manage teams and advance your career, this is the fun stuff. This is the icing on the cake. This is so easy. You get to sit down and actually play with hardware and work with robots. This is what we do is we just eliminate unnecessary busy work. We only do what's necessary to get you results. Whatever that dream goal is, we're going to make sure the projects you're doing, the work that you're doing, the time you're spending is going to get you closer to that goal because at the end of the day, that is what matters. That is that career, that dream role is going to fuel your life. And it's going to make everything so much better. That's why we help you reinvent your career. We help you think about how you want to strategically play this game to get to the next level in your career. And this isn't a passive program where you just show up to a lecture and you waste an hour or two of your time. If you, if you want to do that, you should just go back to university and spend, you know, 50 grand a year getting a master's or doing a PhD. You should just go and sit and passively participate. If you're the kind of person that just wants to hide behind a degree program because you're not ready to um, level up, get to that next step in your career, this isn't for you. 
This is a real-time interactive program where we work together to reinvent your career into your dream six-figure robotics role. And you see, the reason why most professionals are stuck is because they haven't invested in their professional development in years. They think that they can just fall back on a degree or a certification. They got like three, five, 10, or even 20 years ago. But the truth is, A players and high achievers are always sharpening their skills with training and development. Because they know the fastest way to advance their careers is to get help from someone who's already done what they want to do. I hope you enjoyed that leaked training from one of my private client sessions. A lot of insight there, a lot of golden nuggets, a lot of lessons that I wish I had learned years ago because I was doing this all along. I was creating my own little programs for me to follow, working through problem sets, working through activities, getting practice, asking questions. And that's why I was so successful in both my academic career and in my professional career. And I didn't really realize that I was doing this until I sat down and and started kind of decomposing what it is that makes high performing people get to the next level. And it's the little things that they just do intuitively. And so I'd love to invite you into my robotics mentorship program. If you'd like to work directly with me to advance your career or reinvent yourself to a six figure plus career in robotics and automation, you can check out learnrobotics.org slash podcast fill out the form. We will text a little bit just to make sure that you are a good fit. I work with all of my clients directly. So there isn't like a middle person that you are going to be speaking with. You're going to be working directly with me. And I want to make sure that it is a good fit for both of us. So check out learnrobotics.org slash podcast. Apply there if you're interested. And I hope to meet you soon.